No way. Woo! What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. We're in spring training right now. Carl put this out just recently. Hey, it's Carl, and I've got some big plans this fishing season. I'm hoping to get in the best shape of my life to have some of the best fishing of my life. And I want you to join me for Carl's spring training. Let's get it. Let's get it. And when people ask me, bro, do you lift? No. No, I don't. However, I do lift big bass into the boat, and a lot of that has to do with the line I use. So, what you need to do is hit the link in the description, save yourself 30% off all tackle from Carl's Bait and Tackle, and if you didn't know, they also sell terminal tackle as well, such as a lot of these lines we're gonna be testing today. I've got Guggen Squad line, I've got Seeger line, I've got Top Notch by Uzuri, I've got some monofilament lines over here, Trilene, as well as Strin, some of the more popular brands, some of which can be found, most of them can be found on Shop Carl's, uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle. Uh, some of the others are more popular. You find it like a Walmart or Academy. We're gonna test these out today. I want to see, do they live up to their own test? Like, these are all 12 pound tests, both mono and fluoro. And how much do they exceed? Does each of these exceed? I want you to get the most bang for your buck. If you buy a 12 pound line and it constantly breaks at 14, that's some good line. And uh, we're also gonna judge that on the diameter of the line as well. Stay tuned, let's do this. This is gonna be the true line weight test. Let's do it. So I'm sorry for the echo, we're actually in my garage, so there's gonna be a little bit of an echo because we've got no cars in here, nothing taking up space. But the fluorocarbon we're gonna be testing, it's gonna be that 12 pound Guggen Squad Flora right there. We're gonna test this, this is also from Shop Carl's. This is probably one of my favorite lines, so I'm curious to see how this does. It just goes to the guides so well. This is Yozuri Top Knot. Um, I really, really like this fluoro. It's just a really good fluoro, you need to check that one out. Of course, everybody's heard of this one. This is a staple, the Seeger 100% Fluoro Red Label. Um, that's also a really good line. I've used it before as well. Over in the mono section, we also have the 12 pound Guggen Squad mono filament right here in 12 pound. Probably my go to as far as mono, uh, Trilene. I love the Trilene. This is in the clear. Sometimes I'll use the uh, light green low vis. But we got the Trilene as well as Strin, which you can pick up in like any local Walmart. They're always carrying Strin line. We're gonna put this to the, will it focus? There we go. We're gonna put these three to the test. We're gonna see, do they exceed based on their diameter? Um, Cause that's another thing you've gotta look at when you, when you pick out line is what is the diameter of the uh, line? What is the thickness of the line? Cause I'm gonna hang a bucket from the ceiling. I'm gonna, with this line tied on, and we're gonna do this at least twice for each line so we get a good running average, make sure it wasn't my knot that messed up the line, uh, nothing like that because, well, sometimes I can tie a crappy knot. So I'm gonna hang it from the, the ceiling here, we're gonna tie it to a, the bucket uh, with some carabiners, and I'm gonna start putting weight in it. When we hit 12 pounds, we're gonna wait on the bucket to fall, and uh, yeah, then we'll see, then we'll see exactly where it breaks. The other thing is, is I want y'all to see how much stretch these lines have in them um, from where it starts to where it finishes. The stretch is also very important with these lines, so let's get into it. All right, up first to test, we have the Seeger brand 12-pound fluorocarbon. This is the thickest fluorocarbon we have in the 12-pound. It's right there, 0 0.310 millimeters. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang this bucket on the ground right here. Up right here, y'all can't even see it, but it's gonna be dangling. It's gonna have a good dangle going. And I'm gonna start dropping some weights. These are my scuba diving weights. Um, yeah, that's right, I scuba dive. If y'all wanna see some of that on the channel, hit me in the comments. Drop these scuba diving weights. This, this would be 10 pounds, five each. 10 pounds right here, so we're gonna start with those. Then we've got some two pound weights. So I've got two of those, so that's 14. Uh, but more importantly, I'm trying to get it to at least 12, and here's some one pound 
one pound ankle weights. So we're gonna, that's how we're gonna do this. Right, so the bucket right now is hanging from 12 pound Seeger fluorocarbon. Um, I'm gonna definitely put on my safety glasses for this one. Safety first, kids, safety first. When I count that the bucket is half a pound, I really can't verify that, but half a pound is what we're gonna give it. So let's start with five pounds. Do you already see how much stretch this has in it? I mean, for fluorocarbon, mono stretches a crazy ton. Fluorocarbon doesn't stretch as much as mono. And look, we're, I mean, we went from a good bit off the ground to now just being barely above it. All right, let's go to 10 pounds. That's five pounds. We never even made it to 12. That was just like 10 and a half. Wow. You can see the stretch in this thing too. That's crazy. That had nothing to do with my knot. Again, this is the 12 pound cigar red label fluorocarbon. We'll start with five pounds. You know what? I'm actually going to kick it up in two pound increments now. All right, I'm gonna add another. So this will be nine pounds, nine and a half pounds if you count the bucket. I'm trying to be gentle about putting them in there so that I don't stress it. All right, that's nine and a half pounds. Let's go 10 and a half. So 10 and a half, 11 and a half. That could have been my knot then. All right, so let's take a couple of these out. Let's take the stretch off of this line. Let's add, so we're at 10 and a half right here. All right, so we're gonna go 11 and a half back to where we were. So this is going to be the test. This is, should be 12 and a half right here. All right, we're looking a lot better now. So I feel a little bit better about that. That very well could have been anything with that line. There you go, 12 and a half. It finally broke. And it did the same thing, that, that whole stretch fray thing it does. All right, so that made it to exactly 12 nothing more nothing less you know what? i'm going to give it the max of the test so we're going to count that first one as an anomaly we're going to say this one made it to 12 and a half before it broke it did not hold it very long and uh, finally just snapped on me so up next is the guggen squad fluorocarbon 12 pound fluorocarbon this is the second thickest line so this is the middle of the three that i've got this line is 0.295 millimeters right there. 0.295 millimeters thick. So actually I think it's pretty good thickness. Uh, the top knot is a little bit thinner, but we're gonna start off. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start this with 10 pounds. So two of these bags are already in there. All right, so there's 10 and a half pounds. Ten and a half pounds on that. Wow. All right, well, let's see if that was an anomaly. Things almost touching the floor. Okay, so it cannot handle. It's a pretty conclusive test, actually. How about that? Ketchco's probably not gonna like that I'm gonna release this video. Very curious to see what happens with the top knot. Up next we have the Yozuri top knot. It's uh, the smallest diameter of all of them. It's .011 inches or, as we've been doing in millimeters, uh, it is 
0.285 millimeters right there. And it says on the box that it is stronger pound for pound uh, in US spec and it is smaller in diameter. This can be picked up on Shop Carl's, so you wanna check this one out. This one's actually, I think, the cheaper of all three as well. So this is the line I fish with. We're gonna see if it holds up to the test or if I need to switch myself. All right, so same thing. I've already got 10 pounds. It's going in the bucket. This one scares me a little bit because I've set it up higher. So this bucket, when it does break, it's going to fall pretty far. All right, so that is 10 and a half pounds. We've already got the Guggen Squad beat on thinner line. Yeah, Catch Coat's not gonna like this video at all. So let's put in another pound, make it 11 and a half. I'm gonna say at 11, that thing breaks. Let's try it again. All right, 10 and a half on that one. So we're gonna give it 11 and a half. We're going with the biggest on those. So 11 and a half on that. So let's talk about this for a second. All right, so when it comes to all three of these lines, the Guggen Squad Fluorocarbon, the Yozuri Top Knot, or the Seeger, they're all 12 pounds. You would think they'd be able to deadlift 12 pounds. Now they may not be able to hold it as long as I was making them hold it. And that could have contributed to it just because of the stretch factor. The thing that you can overcome for all this is if you've got a, a reel with a really good drag on it and your drag's not set to max um, and a really good rod, that's gonna relieve the pressure of 12 pounds. I actually feel comfortable fishing with 12 pound line and I feel like I could land a 13 or 14 pound fish because I feel like I've got the right setups. As long as you pair it with the right setups of reel and rod, you should be fine. So here's my assessment. This, the, the Seeger line, the uh, 12 pound Seeger line, it is the thickest of all three of these. Um, by a good bit actually, by almost 15.015 millimeters. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but sometimes you never know what the fish can see and what they can't see. And if you're on a real finicky bite, that could mean something. Guggen Squad, if you want a good diameter size, this is a good one to go with. I, I really like the, the diameter size on this one for 12 pounds. Again, you can overcome that with a good rod and reel setup. But my, my winner, and again, the main, this is the stuff I fish with because it's thinner, it broke around the same as the Guggen Squad, and it's cheaper. You can get this for 30% off on Shop Carl's. You may want to go check it out. You can also get your Guggen Squad 30% off. Um, these were very similar. I would have to give these almost an equal grade, um, but this one's gonna edge it out based on price and the fact that it's thinner. So if, if you had to put me down on one, Yozuri Top Knot is the one to go with in my opinion. It, all things being considered, they're all pretty equal. Let's do the mono and uh, let's get out of here. I myself hardly use mono anymore. Um, I may use it every now and then if I wanna keep a bait higher in the water column, like a crankbait. If I want it to stay just a little bit more up. But I know a lot of you guys still fish mono, so we're just trying to cover all our bases and uh, show you what this guy is. I mean, a lot of you fish strand because it's, it's easily accessible. You can find it in Walmart. Let's give it a shot. Let's put it on the thing. Really, I wanna cover this too. I believe the bucket's actually about a pound. So everything I did before, add about half a pound to it. So if it broke at 10 and a half, it was actually probably 11. Um, 11 and a half is actually probably close to 12. So different things like that. We're trying to get 11 out of this. If fluoro is any indication, we're trying to get 11 pounds out of this. So let's do it. All right, I want y'all to see the stretch on this. So this is just with a one pound bucket. All right, we see where it's at right now, right? Let's put five pounds in. I want y'all to see how much stretch this has. Pretty good bit of stretch. Two pounds, so this would be a total of eight pounds. On 12 pound test. And another two pounds, so this would be 10 pounds on 12 pound test. Oh, it's stretching. 11 pounds.
12 pounds. Can we reach the 12 pound limit? these out. We should be able to put this five pound weight in there and get away with it. Because we, we had six extra pounds in there. The key is being gentle. That's 11 pounds. We're going to go 12 again. pounds. Fourteen pounds was the breaking point on 12 pound test monitor. That's pretty dang good. So unlike the, well, y'all aren't going to be able to see that probably, it broke like almost in the middle. Unlike the floor, the fluoro broke probably about five or six inches away from the carabiner. This is a good in the middle of the line. Ten pounds in the bucket, so that's going to be 11 pounds total. Of weight. Just keep stretching. 12 pounds. Reach its test weight. 12. 13. Here's the thing, we're actually touching now. I'm gonna say this is gonna get to 14 again. It's touching the bottom. I'm not cutting that again, so I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna call that one done. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty stout. Go strand. How about that? Who would have thought? That's probably the cheapest out of the bunch, too. So the next line up is this Berkley Trilene. This is the line I use most. This is 12 pound Trilene. The specs are virtually identical to the strand. So I would be shocked if we got different results. Um, I mean, the line diameter um, is 0.013 and it's 0.33 millimeters, 0.330 millimeters. Same as the strand. I mean, it's about darn identical. Um, everything about it should be the same. We should be easily getting 13 to 14 pounds out of this line if all goes well. If not, I'm probably not going to use trial anymore. I'm probably going to go to strand. And click this in and let her rest. Let's go up to 12 pounds. This is the test. All right. 13 pounds. This is Probably going to be the breaking point, I would think. Right, we'll take one pound out, put two pounds in, so this is going to be 14 pounds total. Son of a gun. 15 pounds. Surely you're about to break. No way. 16 pounds on 12 pound test, surely you've got a break. What? 17 pounds on 12 pound test. After this, I'm out of weight. Woo! Scared the crap out of me. You can easily get 16 pounds out of traveling. How about that? That is crazy. You know what? I'm going to start it off at 13 pounds. I've got 13 pounds in the bucket. We're going to see if we can't get 16 out of it again. Uh, we're going to go to 15 pounds. Sixteen pounds. Ooh, even gave it a little shake. All right, I'm calling that good enough. Sixteen pounds on twelve pound test mono. 
Oh yeah, I'll take that all day. Last but not least is the Guggen Squad Monofilament by Ketchco. This one is different than the other two. So it is 12 pounds. That is the same. However, its line diameter is 0 .001 inches thinner. Um, more importantly, the millimeter size on that is 0 .310, right there. 0 .310, so it is 0 .02 millimeters thinner than our other two. Um, so I would expect this gets right up to 12 and breaks, um, but we shall see. So let's get into it. With the others, I'm going to start off with 10 pounds already in the bucket, so it's an 11 pound bucket on 12 pound test. It should be able to at least hold this, maybe not much more. I'm going to go with the not much more. That's twice, it never even made it to 11. Let's try one more time, benefit of the doubt here. I'm just gonna tell you, if this doesn't at least make it to 12 pounds, taking any sponsors since Ketchco is probably gonna be done with me. There is 10 pounds in the bucket, it's a one pound bucket, so 11 pounds total, 12 pound test. Looking better now. Can we make it to 12 pounds? Yes. 13 pounds. So that one got to close to 14 pounds. We saw it hold 13 pounds, close to 14 pounds. I can live with that. All right, so here's my breakdown of the monofilaments. Um, Strin, um, it's probably the cheaper of all three. It held 13 or 14 pounds, which was impressive, but it is thicker, okay? So it is that, what is it, point zero or 0.33 millimeters thick so it's a little bit thicker the Guggen squad I know I had a rough start those first two I actually think it's because they were shorter you got to remember mono relies on stretch um, and with me giving it a very short amount I don't see if y'all don't know if y'all saw how high it was once I lengthened the uh, the string and got it lower on that third attempt it actually held its test so there's gotta be something to that, the, the length of the line you're also testing. So I'm actually gonna give it to this one. It get, got to 13 pounds, almost 14 pounds, and it is significantly thinner um, than the strand. Um, and the line I use in mono is triline. Um, that triline got to 17 pounds before it broke. I mean, that is impressive on 12 pound line. And it's the exact same thickness, just 0.2 millimeters bigger than the, uh, than the Guggen Squad, but you get a bunch more weight to it. So trialing, I like that, and it did it consistently. Twice it did it, where it made it to nearly 17 pounds before it broke. That, my friends, is impressive. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys are getting ready for spring. I hope you're going to tie on some of this line, uh, whether whatever your favorite line is. If whatever your favorite line is, let me know in the comments. I, I wanna know what your favorite line is. Did I miss one that you you normally use that I didn't test. Um, I just picked out my top three favorites uh, that I see around. Um, again, most of those you can get off Shop Carl's, so go to Shop Carl's, hit the link below, save yourself 30% off by signing up for a Carl's Club membership, and uh, you can get your top notch like I use for 30% off, or you can get any of these Guggen Squad for 30% off as well. Guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're ready for spring. Go ahead all up those reels. If you don't know how to do that, I showed it in a couple videos back. Tie those knots tight. Again, another video. I'm probably, hopefully I'm putting them somewhere on the screen. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. As always, like, 
Comment below on what your favorite line is and uh, just hit the subscribe button. Turn it from red to gray. Hit the ding dong notifications if you want to be notified anytime we drop a new video and we'll catch you on the next one later.